Hi there, Sly Prepper here. Now I'm going to doing some of the other videos because of this. My teeth are infected. Okay, now I'm going to ER once I, he gets home with the car. I have a dentist appointment set up to take x-rays and everything, but they got inflamed and infected before time for the appointment. I procrastinated. I kept putting up. So that's my own fault right there. I didn't know if my insurance would cover or not, so I had to find out. And of course, it's not going to cover everything. Now I got to figure out how to come up with the money. But this is so inflamed, and I'm so much in pain. Now the thing is, the reason I'm showing you this: what if there's no dentist around? SHTF has happened. WROL has happened. The Aztecs used ground up pepper juice and put it right on the gum area and the teeth to kill the pain until the teeth rotted out or unless they was able, it was able they was able to get it come out or something. Uh, many people use false Solomon for pain. There's a variety of natural remedies out there, but in a situation you're gonna to have to face a decision. Are you gonna pull your own tooth out or are you gonna get someone else pull out? The thing is this is all inflamed. Now I've been doing things to treat it. Now it was bigger than this. It was all out. It was a lot bigger than this. All this was really inflamed. I've just been doing a hot water treatment to it. You know, I do an ice treatment to it. But what if you can't do an ice treatment? What if you can't do a water hot water treatment to it? Then you gotta figure out what you're gonna do. Now, I look like crap. I don't mean lots and lots of pain. How I'm gonna pay for this, I don't know. Um it's all on this side. I have one tooth that's broken up in here. Some of them broke here, and some of them can be pulled out. Now, what I have left is the ones in the front. I've had a few car wrecks over the years, so it's damaged my teeth right here. You see the slit right there? That wasn't natural. I was not born with a slit in my teeth. I had a perfect set of teeth. I had a car wreck, left teeth marks in the steering wheel, and it split my teeth right there and separated them. So, Fortunately, for right now, I can go to the ER and maybe get it drained and get something done, you know. get you know. But in a SHTF, I mean, you're going to have to get someone that's willing to cut this soap a little bit and drain the infection out, willing to pull the teeth out for you, you know, maybe even willing to cut out. You're going to be in pain. I mean, don't worry around it. You're going to be in pain, but getting an infected tooth pulled out is a must. One of the Chinese emperors died. She was really overweight, and she was in pain for years. And come find out she had an abscess, serious abscess in her teeth. And that's most likely they said what killed her because she was continually eating a lot of sweets and everything. Like I said, she ate, she was, she ate a lot of good food, basically. So the thing is, eating, you know, a lot of them wound up with cavities and Aztecs and stuff for the elite ones who could eat corn because corn starch is sweet. You'll see a lot of them with half their teeth missing. Because they wore them down eating uh, rubbery type of bread or whatever the reason is. Uh, it's not easy. But in an SHTF or WROL event, you're going to have to have something done. One thing is, you're going to have to knock yourself out somehow or get someone to knock you out. You know, the Vatican uh, herbs up, stuff to make you sleep. Maybe get you... Or you can sleep and they can pull your tooth out. Maybe get your grunt to pull your tooth out. Whatever the deal is. Uh, I used vinegar and washed my mouth out as an anti-inflammatory. Now, it says to use the organic, leave it in there 10 or 15 minutes. But I all got the regular vinegar and I reached it out. I leave it in there for a while as long as I can handle it because it does start burning. And it does ease the discomfort up. Also, when I'm eating soup, I add a lot of hot sauce in it and a lot of pepper in it to also help with the infection and reduce the pain. I think that's all the reason I've been able to handle it and last as long as I have. Because I've been using a lot of natural treatments to do this. I was trying to get through till the 30th so I could have the x-rays done. But now, I'm to this point. I need some fish antibodies. I really do. Uh, I took the last four pain pills of my man that had. And it's got codeine in it. And I'm really allergic to codeine. But I tell you what, when you're in pain, you're going to do what you got. I have a high threshold of pain. So, raising the money up. And getting the money to get all these teeth pulled and pay for the for false teeth and stuff is going to be take time. But I want to show you what this looks like. And I will be making videos, but I won't be doing uh, facial videos for a while because I really 
don't look too good. And I really feel bad. So I'm, that is a new area I'm exploring in is taking and doing the videos with the pictures and things to get my point across. And I hope you're enjoying them. I want to learn how to do videos and edit them and create there, but I don't have an editing program. Uh, if anybody out there has an editing program and want to send me one, I'd be glad to have it. If you're, I even talk to you on the phone, and you can teach me step by step how to make. I want to make a uh, introductory of live prepper on there uh, for live prepper, auction prepper, Jones C DIY, and the what ifs. That's my five areas I do mostly, and I like to be able to have a title showing all those different areas because I do a wide range of things, and I encourage people to do a wide range of things. I want to show you how much pain I'm in, and the fact is, this is what you're going to look at at SHTF event if there's no dentist to go to. If you have no one around but yourself, you're going to have to use natural remedies to help keep this under control and figure out what you're going to do. You may have to open it up yourself. And grain it. The idea of opening up something myself is not through. I took a needle up in there and I grained some of the infection out up inside. It was very painful. It's very hard to do when your mouth is swollen. Uh, it's easier if you got someone else that can do it for you. I've been eating soup. I've been eating, trying to eat peanut butter sandwiches. I've been trying to eat bread. I've been eating very, very little food because uh, I'm in a massive amount of pain. So I'm also using Vicks Vapor Rub and I'm rubbing Vicks Vapor Rub on my face. And then I put a, uh, like a napkin or paper towel. Up. What it does, it helps uh, kill the pain. It helps control the pain. And that's helped a whole lot too. So I'm using uh, warm tr towel treatment. I'm using uh, ice packs. I'm using the Vicks Vapor Rub. I'm using hot pepper and uh, hot sauce and pepper, black pepper in my soups to help with it. I'm using uh, vinegar to help wash out with. I'm using baking soda to kind of brush with, but it's all very painful, but the baking soda gets in there and helps. Sometimes I use a uh, hot, uh, soft water to wash it out with also, because that helps clean. So at an SHTF event, you're going to be looking at this, and you're going to have to figure out how you're going to get those teeth out. Either you're going to have to do some home remedy treatments and tough it out and open these up and drain these yourself, or you're going to have to try to maybe get someone else to tie you down and do like the old days where they literally climbed up on them and took a pair of water pliers. Uh, learn more about your herbs, what can help numb the pain, get drunk and pass out, it don't matter. But they have to come out because this infection is going to slow you down, it's going to make you very weak, it's going to make you very sick, and it's going to spread through the body. So I am going to the ER and I will hope, you know, I have some kind of money to be able to uh, get my dentist stuff done. If I don't, then I'm going to have to suffer. My insurance will only cover so much. So just pray for me on this. And even if you don't believe in God or anything like that, just, uh, send, you know, send your hopes to me and hope I get better here so I can start making more videos. Until then, you're going to be seeing those other kind of videos. And I hope you're enjoying them. This is Live Prepper here saying be safe, be happy, bless you all, and I feel like crap.